Now, our next step will be to derive the time that ball will take to reach its maximum bounds in both the cases. And for that, we are going to need the first equation of motion again, which is V equals to U plus AT. So, let's consider the case 1. Here, since the ball has reached its maximum bounds here, the velocity, I mean the upward velocity or you can say the vertical component of the velocity will be 0. Which will be equal to u, you already have derived u, u will be v3 plus, sorry, a, a is nothing, but minus g and t, let's call this time as t3. Now, let's bring this thing here, over here, g t3 and v3, we know it's equal to e into v1. It, it gives us t3 as e v1 by g. Similarly, the T4, which is the time taken by the ball to reach its maximum bounds in the case 2, will be equal to T4 equals to EV2 by Z. Now let's compare these two times. We have T3 as EV1 by G and T2 as EV2 by G. Now E and G are constant, E and, uh, e, e and, G, and co G are constant and we already know, we already have, we already have concluded, uh, we already have concluded that V2 is greater than V1, that's why T3 will be smaller than T4. So this is going to be our final conclusion. Now, we'll write it here. T3 or T4 is greater than T3. Now we have reached the final part of our solution where we can prove H2 as greater than H1. So for this we are going to need the second equation of the motion which is S equals to UT plus 1 by 2 AT square. Now, putting this equation in the context of the case 1, 
will get S as H1, U as, well, this U is not same as this U because this U is the initial velocity at this point, at the point right after the collision and it and it is equal to it is actually equal to v3 or we can say ev1 into t3 plus 1 by 2 a well a is A is minus G here T3 square solve it further minus 1 by 2 G T sorry I'm sorry square similarly H2 will be H2 which is the maximum bounce in the case 2 will be EV2 T4 minus 1 by 2 G T4 square now we'll compare these two heights We have H1 as EV1 minus 1 by 2 GT, sorry, T4, sorry, T3 minus 1 by 2 G T3 square and we have h2 as e v2 t4 minus minus right, i'll write it again we have h1 as e v1 t3 minus 1 by 2 g t3 square and h2 as e v2 t4 minus 1 by 2 g t4 square now let's compare e is constant e is constant v1 is smaller than v2 we already have concluded t3 is smaller than t4 we already have concluded and g is another constant which tells us that h1 is smaller than h2 hence we have reached our final conclusion or i can say the objective of this video which is h1 is smaller than h2 or we can also say that h2 is greater than h1 so this is how we can show mathematically that a taller baller bounces the ball higher than a shorter baller this is all for today please like share and subscribe and leave your valuable comments down in the comment section.